Propaganda was a huge part of the two world wars. People used propaganda to help build confidence for the people that were at home to support the people fighting in the wars. Half of the fight in these wars wasn't just the people who were fighting, but also the people who were supporting the people fighting overseas. The people in the home countries had to support the people overseas by building with military equipment such as weapons, vehicles, or communication systems. In order for the people producing these pieces of equipment to continue doing their job, the government believed that they needed a positive end goal of winning the world war. This caused the government and other companies to make propaganda to encourage the manufacturers for their country was doing well in the war and that eventually they would be the victors. People tried to contribute any way that they could to help support the war efforts. Sometimes there would be fundraisers throughout cities to help build certain things that were needed for the war. An example was one time when crowds of people would line up and buy war savings, which were small amounts of money that would try to raise money to find the purchase of an aircraft for the use of the military. This would not only allow these people in the home country to feel that they were helping with all that they could, but also make the people feel as if they were contributing their time and money would result in their country winning the World War. Even though the main use of propaganda was to encourage and provide hope for the people of the home country, it was also used to discourage and take away hope from the enemy countries. Most of the time, the use of propaganda to discourage the enemy was in the form of cartoons and pictures. There were people in Britain that already felt discouraged and were beginning to lose hope in their country, and if other countries used this weakness of Britain's, it could start a strength for other countries. Many Americans made posters and other forms of media to discourage the people and soldiers of Britain so that the, the Americans could take advantage of the British discouragement and lose, lose hope to the British military. Some of these posters included topics about sharing cars, overall unity, positive communication about our country's military, informing the people about the war and telling the British soldiers to give up because of the strength of the United States military forces. These posters were hung up in many public places and were seen by tons of people over the years. There were about 200,000 different po poster designs in World War II alone. Some famous posters include the one of Uncle Sam trying to recruit people to join the U.S. military branches to fight in the war and the poster about the woman that helped serve in the war and support the people serving in the war. As Veterans Day approaches, we thank all the military veterans that have proudly served our nation.